thank you students uh, today i discuss about spherical mirror already we read about the plane mirror uh, now uh, it is a spherical mirror spherical mirror it is the shape of the mirror is spherical that not actually spherical it is a part of a sphere spherical mirror is a part of a hollow sphere whose one side that one surface is made reflecting and another surface is opaque say uh, if you uh, consider it is a part of a sphere then it is a two surface it is the inner surface and it is the outer surface uh, depending on which surface is reflecting the spherical mirror are two types one is the concave mirror and another is the convex mirror concave mirror its inner surface inner surface is the reflecting surface and the outer surface is opaque surface let's so say again here it is the inner surface this inner surface is reflecting this inner surface will be reflecting and outer surface will be opaque and it is the concave mirror that means when light falls on that surface then the light gets reflected now the convex mirror just it opposite outer surface is light reflecting surface and the inner surface is opaque that means this is uh, here this here this is the outer surface this outer surface will be light reflecting surface this will be this will be the light reflecting surface but this will be the opaque that that means this is the front side of the mirror of the uh, concave convex mirror so uh, spherical mirror are two types one is the concave and the, the convex concave means inner side is light reflecting convex means outer surface is light reflecting but both are the part of a hollow sphere now uh, some terminology uh, about spherical mirror first of all the uh, center of curvature every spherical mirror is a part of a hollow sphere and this hollow sphere have a center the center of that hollow sphere is known as the center of curvature the center of hollow sphere of which the mirror was a part is known as center of curvature uh, for example say here this is a concave mirror and this is a convex mirror uh, this two mirror is the part of this sphere and it is the part of this sphere and uh, the center of that sphere is this uh, center of the sphere of this and this is the center of curvature of this mirror this is the center of curvature of this convex mirror and generally uh, center of curvature is indicated by letter c now pole it is the geometrical center of the spherical mirror uh, say so it is a uh, concave mirror this is from e to f this is the concave mirror this is and it is the midway of this mirror this middle point of the mirror is a pole uh, here also is the convex mirror uh, it is the length of the mirror and it is the midway of this mirror so it is a pole pole uh, is indicated by letter p now the principal axis pole and center of curvature when a straight line join these two point this straight line is known as the principal axis it is a pole and it is the center of curvature the straight line ab join this pole and center of curvature so it is the principal axis it is a pole and it is the center of curvature straight line join this pole and center of curvature so it is a principal axis now 
aperture uh, what do you mean by aperture aperture means uh, the area from that the surface of the spherical mirror which is exposed to light for reflection is called the aperture of that mirror see uh, this is a uh, concave mirror the light from this light from this uh, up to this this is beyond this the light cannot strike the front side of the mirror uh, here also up to this beyond this the light does not strike the front side of the mirror so this portion is known as the aperture of that mirror that means concave mirror now the convex mirror it is the front side of the mirror this is the front side of the mirror so light can strike the mirror from here from here from here light can travel so uh, and also the this is so total this portion is the aperture of the convex mirror so the aperture of the convex mirror is more than the aperture of the concave mirror now the another uh, point which is known as the pole pole of the mirror convex or concave mirror now a parallel beam of light uh, which is coming also parallel to the principal axis so it is a parallel beam of light this is a parallel beam of light and also they are parallel to the principal axis when it strikes the concave mirror after reflection these are the reflected ray these reflected ray meet at a point on the principal axis this point is known as the focus of the concave mirror now for the convex mirror is the convex mirror and it is the front side is the outer surface is the reflecting surface i heard that this is the parallel beam of light and also they are parallel to the principal axis after striking the mirror the these are the reflected ray these reflected ray are diverge in nature so they do not meet at any point actually but when they are produced in backward direction then what happens ah uh, yes they meet at a point on the principal axis this procedure is known as the appear to meet when someone uh, some rays are uh, produced in backward direction and they are meted uh, this is known as the appear to meet so these reflected rays are appear to meet at a point on the principal axis and this point is known as focus of the convex mirror so uh, <coughs> definition is the point on the principal axis where a beam of light traveling parallel to the principal axis after reflection reflected ray actually meet or appear to meet it's called the principal axis of the convex and concave mirror uh, it will be not convex mirror it will be spherical mirror i am sorry uh, sp sp the spherical mirror it's called the spherical mirror if you just you take uh, only actually meet then it is called the principal axis of convex mirror if you take appear to meet then you said it is the principal axis of convex mirror so uh, two definition is mixed uh, here <coughs> now this focus and center of curvature these two point all time at the front of the convex i am sorry concave mirror focus and center of curvature lies at the front of the concave mirror whereas focus and center of curvature lie at the back side of the convex mirror and pole 
uh, it is the just on the mirror it will be concave or it will be convex now uh, all the measurements uh, are taken from the pole this is the pole all the measurements will be taken from the pole and now and the radius of curvature what is the radius of curvature the distance from pole to center of curvature this length that means pc here also pole to center of curvature pc it is known as the center of curvature pc is the center of curvature the distance of center of curvature from the pole is known as radius of curvature but pc is the radius of curvature not it cannot be written cp because measurement is taken from p to c now the focal length uh, what is focal length the must be the distance from pole to focus pole to focus this portion this length is known as the focal length pole to focus this length is known as the focal length that means pf is the focal length pf is the focal length now <coughs> there is a uh, relation between the focal length and center radius of curvature what is now uh, from the figure we uh, see that the focus is the midpoint of pc that means focus focal length is the half of the radius of curvature focal length is the half of the radius of curvature so this is the relation uh, focal length is equal to half of the uh, radius or radius of curvature if you cross multiply then radius of curvature equal to 2 into focus focal length so r equal to 2f this is the relation between focal length and radius of curvature now take uh, one new molecule on it uh, a concave mirror is a part of a hollow sphere of radius 9 cm find the focal length of the mirror as the uh, mirror is a part of a hollow sphere uh, of radius 9 cm must be radius of curvature of the mirror is what the radius of curvature of mirror is 9 cm and it is asked to find out the focal length focal length we know the relation between r and f is focal length is equal to radius by 2 uh, radius that means radius of curvature is 9 9 by 2 that means 4.5 cm so focal length is equal to 4.5 cm now one portion is uh, what is the focal length or radius of curvature of a plane mirror plane mirror uh, yes plane mirror is a part of a spherical mirror part of a spherical mirror any plane surface is a part of a bigger spherical surface say uh, if you take a bigger uh, this is a sur bigger surface if you cut just a smaller part then what will be this this looks like a plane surface so plane mirror is a part of a very very big spherical sphere that means its focal length its radius of curvature is infinite so the focal length of the plane mirror is also infinite half of the infinite is also infinite so radius of curvature the radius of curvature of plane mirror is infinite so the focal length of the plane mirror is also infinite for the concave mirror already we discussed focal length and center of curvature both are at the front of the mirror so all the lengths are taken as a negative uh, but here the focus and center of curvature both lies at the back side of the convex mirror that is why all the length that is focal length and radius of curvature is taken as positive 
and this is the terminology uh, related with spherical meter that means concave and convex meter. 